just took this fifth wheel in trade and I'm super excited about it. It may be something you could possibly live in. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is a 2016 Sabre 3300 CK. It is windy outside, so you're gonna have to forgive the background noise. Um, if this is the first time you've seen my channel, uh, what I do on walkthrough videos is spend eight to 10 minutes going around the entire unit and going through the entire coach. Now there isn't a bunch of special effects or sound effects or, or wild editing. So we're just gonna go through it straight and normal. First off, we just took this in trade. So there's things that we have to fix on it, like just put a new sealant here. Uh, we got it get cleaned up. So you guys are gonna see it's dirty, but I wanna film it anyway because it's been four days uh, since we gotten it. And to me, uh, even though it's windy, I gotta really get this thing filmed. So it has a great basement storage, outside shower. It's got a black tank flush and the ability to winterize. 10 gallon uh, propane hot water heater. And then let's see if I could steady myself up. Dry weight of 10,187 pounds with a GVWR of 13,870. And it is a total length bumper to bumper of 36 feet, 11 inches. Now, a couple things to point out, because it is a 2016 and it has been in the desert, the graphics are sun-baked pretty bad, but the fiberglass is in really good condition. There's no delamination at all, which to me is a little shocking because it is Luan fiberglass. So that means somebody took pretty good care of it. It means they probably sealed the roof every once in a while. Uh, when I mean boy, every once in a while, probably once a year, once every two years. Uh, you could tell that even though parts of the colored fiberglass are faded, for the most part, they kept it clean. Now it's prepped for a backup camera, electric stabilizer in the back. Uh, it has frameless windows, a sealed underbelly. Now, most people ask me, is it four seasons? I'll never lie to anybody. There is no such thing as a four seasons fifth wheel. There's only a two inch thick sidewall. So there's only so much insulation you can fit in there. So even if you get something that's called all seasons or four seasons or, you know, winter safe or whatever they want to freaking market it as, there's still stuff you have to do in order to make your fifth wheel go out in the snow uh, for a longer period of time than a couple of days. All right, so let's go inside. And let's see if we can get some of the lights on. Maybe, perhaps. On, on, ooh, looks pretty. Okay, I like the floor plan. It's still very cookie cutter, but back in 2016, this wasn't so cookie cutter. So they got big screen TV, fireplace, radio and DVD player. You also have a solar charger and a 12 volt charger that has both the USB port and the 12 volt for like a TV hook in or a cigarette lighter type of hook in. <clears throat> so I thought it's pretty cool. I actually find that to be a really cool upgrade. Decent cabinets for like DVDs. Now, one thing I do always notice that, that I could tell when somebody's lived in a coach. Because you could tell, because when you look at the upholstery here, see how you can see the head rest area starting to wear? It's cheap material anyway. But you could tell two people have lived in this coach because the upholstery is worn. Okay. Now, it's not so bad on the couch, but you could tell the couch was used. It's also a fold-out bed. Now, I like stuff that's been used pretty well. And they also upgraded everything to LED lights, by the way. I like, as we're going through all the cabinets, I like uh, seeing worn furniture um, and clean cabinets. So like all the cabinetry is in really good shape. Everything works on it. Now, I would be worried if the furniture in this old of a unit and somebody said they lived in it and it didn't have any wear. That would be scary to me. That's just my perspective for doing this for as long as I have. See, like this right here, this can be just refinished, okay? It's just worn down because they actually used it. You know, the, the, the cushions can be reupholstered or cleaned. So really good shape. I mean, but the cushions itself are in good shape. Uh, the island, all the countertops, 
are in good condition. Nothing really worn out. If you guys remember, I did a video on another used consignment where they had a dog. And that dog, ooh, great pantry. Look at that big old pantry. Um, and it was pretty beat up. Now, somebody came and bought it for about 24 grand, but it has it had good stuff to it. This we're going to sell for $26,800. It is still financeable. So if you're in California, Nevada, Arizona, it's a good unit to come out and just kind of see. And again, we haven't cleaned it yet. So there's some wear down there. See, that means they've had pots, pans, things of that nature. This is all normal. Now let's check my favorite thing, the sink. Ah, boo, two-piece sink. That kind of sucks. That's okay. Like I said, I prefer the one-piece. If you haven't seen my channel before, I like the one-piece sink because I like big pots of pasole, tortilla soup, a um, lot of good Mexican dishes, and you need big, tall pots that won't fit inside this sink. Okay, it has a three burner stove and oven. You got a eight cubic foot propane electric refrigerator. Needs a little WD-40. <laughs> Small little microwave, but it's got the handle instead of the push button. And then you got the adult beverage compartment. <laughs> and more counter space over here with a uh, GFI plug. Good cabinet space all the way around. Great storage. Now what you can't see, and I can't get tall enough, otherwise we're really gonna get shakier than I already am, is up top over there, there's a lip. So when you're parked, you could put your pots and pans up there or storage up there. And then you got more area for storage down here. That's your furnace if you're wondering. Now if we look around, the island, you do have more plugs right here. They actually, this is aftermarket. So you have a USB plug-in and you have a 15 amp plug-in. And we'll check around the other side. So that's the only plug on the island. Now, let's go into the bathroom. See, good shape. I mean, it's not the best, guys. It's not like it's perfect. It's far from perfect. Most used RVs that are actually used, not sat in a garage, those scare me. When somebody keeps something in a barn for three years and doesn't use it, it tells me it's garage kept, that scares the crap out of me as a dealer. Like, what's wrong with it that you didn't use it for three years? Big shower, small sink, but decent counter space around medicine cabinet another outlet and then in here king size bed which wasn't common um, the other thing not common was saber back then it is now but it's washer dryer prepped and just a normal closet this is normal stuff nothing out of the ordinary except for the king bed and then you have three drawers. So I'm gonna put a very tiny TV there. Not great, but decent. Okay. Last thing to go over is the equipment. So it has two air conditioners. Uh, it has a 30,000 BTU furnace. And uh, it has electric jacks. It is not generator prepped. It does not have a generator. So you have to get a portable. Um, if you want to check it out, I'm going to put the website, my website, dealership website in the description box below. You guys know you can contact me by email. All my contact information will be in the description box below. And then if you look in the top right hand corner of this video, you're going to see another cool used fifth wheel walkthrough I did that I think is really cool, especially being so old school. And then um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.